because she has eaten a double down in 28 seconds, down five feet of Subway sandwiches in nine minutes, and wolfed down a 2.3 kilo burrito in less than five minutes. Now Kiwi model Nella Zissa is back from the world-famous Nathan's hot dog eating competition in New York, where she went after TV3's Jono and Ben launched a campaign to get her there. They should have just asked me for the money. The 23-year-old came seventh place after downing 16 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Uh, Nella is back with us this morning. We talked to you before you went. Nella, good morning. Good morning, You Paul. had a great time, I had an you? amazing time. I love America. It was, um, it was just great. Is this an official um, career for you now, competitive eating? Um, it's definitely going to be a part of my life. Uh, I'm really keen to go back. They're keen to have me back which is great. Everyone was amazing. Everyone was so nice. It's like a little family, almost. Because mm. um, you met some of the world champion competitive eaters. Yeah. Did you get any, and I'm going to talk about your experience in a moment, but did you come away with tips? Are you a better competitive eater now from having met the top in the world? Definitely, yeah. Me and uh, me and Sonia the Black Widow Thomas. Yeah, you've yeah. Heard of her? Sonia we, the Black Widow Thomas. We've become actually really good friends. I actually convinced her to go to the after party. She's never been. Yeah. And I convinced her, and I actually even convinced her to do a shot, and she doesn't drink. It's, it's, this is it's like, New Zealand's binge drinking rubbing off on, oh, on yeah. Americans. Yeah. Yay for you. You've taken glory to <laughs> yeah, the no, world. The, 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 uh, the person who manages Major League Eating was amazed. He was so happy I got her to come down. You know, here's the thing. Just listening to you talk, it's like talking to like one of the Shortland Street actors after they've been and had a successful you know, week in, in Los Angeles at Hollywood <laughs> or something like that. Like you've met the best in your game, haven't you? Yeah, it was, it was, it was the best experience ever. It was amazing. Okay, so you came in the women, the, the, the top where I think the winner was 38 yeah. hot dogs in 10 minutes. Um, you did 16 and you came 7th. Yeah. That is pretty good for a I first know. run. Pe- people are posting that I lost out and stuff, but I'm, I'm stoked. That's because people are losers. I'm stoked with 7th place. These of course are, you are. These are the best competitive eaters in the world. These guys, have, like Sonia has been doing it for over 10 years. She's she's a champion. So is Mickey Sudo. I'm stoked with 7th place. I think that's amazing. Next How year you... I want to go back and okay, do Okay, so better. you are going to go back. Definitely. I was going to ask you that. Okay, what could you have done better to eat more? Because you have come back with more knowledge. Well, in my training I was set to eat over 30, but I think on the day they're a lot colder. They're a different thing. They're, they kind of taste like beef jerky on the day because they've been out for a while. Yeah. You know, when you're making hundreds of hot dogs, you, they're not going to be hot. So I think next time I need to train with ones that are a little bit colder and try to figure out a better way to eat them quicker. What was the toughest thing? Because you've eaten a lot of things, but a hot dog is a particular item, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and there are lots of different strategies. You've got the sausage, which is comparatively easy compared to the bun, and there's a lot of bread When it comes to there. the cold one, it's actually harder. The sausage is harder. But when it comes to the hot ones, it's a lot easier. Yeah, because those little suckers just slide straight yeah, down, ex- don't exactly they? Right. I inhale those burgers. Yeah, they were, they those... were made hot dogs. <laughs> um, so how do you eat the bun? Because it's the whole, it's keeping it wet, isn't it? Yeah. So what I do is I take two two sausages out. I start eating them. I take the bun with my other hand, dip it in the liquid, and then use that as liquid to get it down, so you don't choke. Do you think your strategy was right? Do you think the way I think you handled yeah, your hands? I definitely hands think. And... I definitely think my strategy was right. I just probably didn't have the right rhythm that I could have had. Like yeah. I could have practiced more. I could have trained more. These people have been training since like the beginning of this year for this. Were they be- But you knew how many that they, they'd been eating at previous competitions. Yeah. D- was it harder though than you thought? Were they better than you thought? Um, definitely it was. It was. It's more difficult when you're on stage because obviously you've got a lot of people around you. It's a little bit, it's a little bit cold. Um, the, sauce, the hot dogs are cold. Mm. But I yeah, think you wouldn't I, expect that. It's actually not a hot dog, is it? Yeah, no, it doesn't taste like a hot dog anymore because I tried the Nathan's hot dogs and they're hot and they are amazing. They are but good But what you hot didn't dogs. do and, and what you need to learn is when I give you advice, you follow it, <laughs> you did not try the chili cheese fries. I Nathan's didn't try chili them. Che- oh, I wanted to try them. I just didn't have time. We were you've doing media. Back. I will go back. I'm, I'm certain I want to go back to America. Okay, so let's talk. You've got you've now got cred on the world circuit, yeah. right? The, the, the best eaters well, in the world had a, are you. I, we had, me and Sonia Thomas, we had a drunk, impromptu, Nacho eating contest. Please don't at, name drop. At the other, at the after party, mm. and I actually won. Wow! And it's on video. Andy from John and Ben. John and Ben here has the video, so hopefully they'll play that on uh, on Friday when they. For the benefit of people on Radio Live, you're wearing a John and Ben T-shirt, yeah. and that just slightly <laughs> pissed me off when I saw it. <laughs> It just, hey, I'm hey, sorry, Andy, but it just did. Your guy Andy, your guy Andy, told me to the the guy that I just. What do you mean, my guy it? Andy? Who even is Andy? Andy, <laughs> he put me out there. All right, well, that's the he last time me, you do that. Next time you door. come in, you're going to wear a Paul Henry T-shirt. Yeah? All right. right, where do you go from here? Um, I'm going to keep practicing. I've got a competition on the 18th, and that's the Wow 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 Noodle competition. Currently, I've got the fastest time for the qualifier, so I'm hoping to be able to win it. Okay, so from out of the, out that competition alone, can you make money? 
Ah, uh, yeah, it's a thousand dollar prize uh, okay. for the winner. Three hundred for second, two hundred for third. And you don't eat for a week, so yeah. you save money. And also, on the twenty fifth of July, I'm going down to Teronga to do a burger competition. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, see. All right, then we're going to keep in touch. Awesome. All right. Remember that thing about the John and Ben yeah. logo. Well, give me some Paul Henry shirts, and I'll, and I'll wear them around. All right. All right. Oh, you're going to be good in this business. Um, all right, Nella. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming you. in. Great to catch up.